hope everyone's having an amazing day. So today, if you saw my post from earlier this week, I promised everyone to show how you could clean these mesh shoes, if you have any type of mesh shoes, um, so that way they're not ruined, nice and clean. So all you need, soap or a little container that makes bubbly soap, you know, um, a brush, a comb, your hand, pretty much anything to scrub the shoe with. And I have clean water, and then I have a reciprocal for the dirty water to go into. So what I did, I took the shoelaces off. It's just easier because if not, then you have to wash the shoelaces. It just creates more work for yourself. And that way you can clean in the middle as well. And there's not a section where it looks like a line where you cleaned and then you didn't clean. Our shoes you can throw in the washer if you're super super busy and then and then the only thing with ours so you can't take the insole out which is very very soft and it's just a regular shoe so that's what I did I took the insole out and then I have the shoe pointing down because this is usually where it gets dirty Oh, and if you get wet, it's okay. And I like to point it down so that way uh, most of the inside doesn't get wet. Or you can put your hand in there. And kind of push on the sections that need to be wet. So see? All this section needs to be clean. I wore these for a photo shoot when I went to the Redwoods. If you haven't seen the pictures on my Instagram account, I wear them. I suggest you go check them out. Now that you have it, some white dripping. I did this before we went to the shoot and I knew they were gonna get dirty so I was like oh it's okay these canvas shoes are very durable and quite resistant so uh, that's what I thought about when uh, actually creating shoes I thought oh okay our canvas shoes do really well but if they get dirty with uh, several different colors it's good that you don't use like a bleach or a hard soap so that way if it's just all one color material, you know, quick amount. So after it's good and soapy, you know, use your brush. You can do circle strokes, up and down strokes, whatever you find that works best for you. to see how your shoe is coming along and with the first scrub as you can tell they're coming out a lot cleaner than we were before so we do a second scrub with soap And I'm just using regular hand soap, just so you know. No special shoe soap or anything. I mean, if you have special sh shoe soap or brushes, go for it, you know? Whatever works for you. Just trying to make this as easy as possible for anyone who will be buying our shoes or anyone who has these types of shoes. That way, 
they don't think that oh my god I ruined my shoes because I went uh, hiking or I ruined it because someone stepped on me or someone splashed in me or whatever you know and on the second time I you really get in where the shoelaces are and that's usually a part where Thank you, Mr. Plane. Thank you. Thank you. So, if you didn't hear me, I scrub where the shoelaces go. Because usually where um, it gets really dirty, but, you know, and if you don't think about it, you know. Get it in. And the nice thing um, about these shoes, these are um, faux leather since they're not real, um, you don't have to worry about uh, really destroying the material. You still have to be careful and still be gentle, but not as much as if it was uh, a real leather material, which is um, a lot more sensitive. If you even want, and you see that the backside of the shoe is also dirty, you know, Give it a good scrub too. Doesn't hurt that your whole shoe can look really nice. So that way next time you wear them out to the beach, or stroll with your friends, maybe someone invited you to a lunch date, you know, you never know. Okay, so we gave it a a good scrub. So the inside is going to get a little wet, just so you know. That's why we take the insole out. you saw before. See, this is what the shoe looks like after two washes. Looks a lot better. I mean if you want you can do the sides, you know, the sole part right here, make it look nicer. I mean it's all it's all gonna come off, so don't worry about it. You know, make the shoe look like brand new. See with that little part that I scrubbed how clean it gets. And you don't even really need soap. Just put it in the water and scrub. You can do this in your sink. You can do this outside. You know, wherever you have a good source of water. If you do scrub it outside, make sure you rinse it, make sure it's nice and clean, there's no soap residue. And the shoes and my outfit are from our signature collection. I am currently working on having more colors of our mesh sneakers for launch in 2023. So this one is clean. And what I do is, so, oh, oh come on now. So you don't forget which, so which you, you can put in here, you know, just to remember. And then you put it off to the side. Oh, pardon me. And then you do the same thing with the other one. If they're like white shoelaces or um, any other color that does get dirtier, you can. Um, what I do, I put them in some detergent, 
or some dry soap, you know, whatever you have, hand soap is fine. Or stick them in your washer too. But usually our black laces don't really show that much dirt. And then we're going to do the same process with this shoe. And all our sizes on the inside, they're all stuck on the inside, just so you know. One shoe got dirtier than the other one. Lucky day with play, I guess. Okay. Your soap. Then a good scrub. First, I do it with my hand to kind of get it real in there, and then I do it with the brush. I feel like that works better. I hope wherever you are, you're having an amazing day. Uh, I am being in a Northern California. You're having beautiful weather. Let's see. And if you never visited my website or have never visited my Instagram, we have already started our uh, summer collections. Tank tops, shorts, lip gloss. Everything to have an amazing summer. We have three different kinds of tank tops. We have our regular tank top. And we have our sport tank top, which has uh, a ribbed collar and uh, uh, ribbed around the armpits as well. It's more for, I would say, simplicity. It's not as uh, bold with the design. It's mostly has the colors of the collection. And then we have uh, a crop top as well. I mean, if you want while you're cleaning the shoes, do the soles as well. Might as well, you know, that way you don't have to uh, wash twice. And these soles um, that were used clean very easy. See, as you can see, how really nice and white they come out. Don't forget to rinse them. I mean, some of the stains right here, I'm gonna have to scrub extra hard. But the chew is clean. There you go. Alrighty. Um, this is my choice. So now I have uh, both shoes nice and clean. There you go. I just leave them, when I leave them drying, I leave them drying like this. So the water drips all the way down, yeah, that way you can tell. And then when they're fairly dry, I lace them and I put the insole back in. By the way around, I put the insole and then put the laces on. Alrighty, so, excuse me. If you have any other questions of how you clean our product, let me know. Um, you can send me a, a message on Instagram, you can email me. I even have my business phone number on there. I wish everyone has an amazing day and thank you for tuning in and how we wash our meshes. Take care. Don't forget to be unique and be an individual.